Hey what's up guys you are watching for tech this is the OnePlus Nord 2 and today is the magic day will you want to see the magic and this is it present tech OnePlus Nord 2 converted to fully working official custom rom built ancient os so this is the most customizable android 12 based custom rom in the world of modding today we are going to install and take the full review with the timeline so you can jump directly to the specific part that you want the great news is that it's a daily drivable, fully working bit and easily installable on the top of any Oxygen OS version, GSI or custom ROM like Elixir. TWRP encryption is all here so that you can easily restore an Android backup ladder anytime if you want to revert back. So without wasting time, let's get started. On the new adventure. First you need to download the ancient OS zip file. If you are on Elixir or any Android 12 base OS, place this file in a pen drive and you need the OTG to flash this. If you are on Android 11 base ROM, no need to use the OTG or pen drive. If you are on a custom ROM, boot to the TWRP using the advanced reboot menu from the stock power menu. If you are on a stock ROM, use the ADB command like ADB reboot recovery. Take the Android backup for the safety and place the file in a safe place in the PC. Now Android tell users connect the pen drive to the phone using the OTG cable, tap mount, then search the USB storage and check mark it. Now tap the select storage tab and select the USB storage. Now go to the home page in a TWRP, click install and search the ancient OS zip, flash the file. Android 11 users just keep the file in internal storage and tap install and search for the zip and flash it. Now go to the wipe and then tap the format data type yes this will wipe all the data on your phone so take the full internal backup also and now reboot to the system phone will boot to the beautiful boot animation so let's jump to the settings so the setting cap is completely different here than the other custom rom search button and all dedicated customization tabs shifted to the bottom so tap on the last ancient os icon tab to guess the all the upgrade details so this is the official ancient 6.1 shield build security patches of 5th december 2021 this is the latest bill of 11 jan 2022 we guess the beautiful round clock easter egg of android 12. so let's see what's working all the things works here like wi-fi and the wi-fi hotspots 4g dual geo sims along with the olt but sometimes on the first boot it will not work automatically so we need to go to the settings then go to the network and internet then tap mobile network once enable and disable the OLT tab and reboot your device so the OLT incoming and the outgoing calls are working without any issue bluetooth devices connecting and no issues in the bluetooth audio via bluetooth headphones they are supporting the LDAC audio too audio in the speakers works well and the loud here is a sample hey what's up guys you're watching for hey not to we will decide Useless stuff like NFC is working here, fingerprint working flawlessly detecting the multiple fingerprints and the unlock instantly. Now one of the great thing is that this OS passes the safety net check even on the unlock bootloader. So the device Google Play is certified, system Netflix worldwide security level is first, so you can enjoy the Netflix without the issue. So what's not working? The only thing is not working is the alert slider and it will be get fixed in the upcoming updates. So what's about the camera, ROM comes with the Google Go Cam application, like the old custom ROMs, it's good but not have some features. So I have given the Gcam stable link in the video description, when you click on that you get the stable build link, click on that, then click on the 8.x version, tap on the second option Gcam MGC build and download the application. So no doubt this app has the lots of Google features like night sight, portrait mode, slow motion, wide angles, optical image stabilizations, panorama mode, photosphere, etc. So this ROM is a customization app. Immediately after entering to the setting, at the top we get the custom username and the avatar setting. So here we change it to the our brand for you take. At the bottom we get the customization tabs. First one is just for the stock setting. Second one is the customization tab. Third one is special custom features that can only found in the ancient OS. The last one is about device and the OS information. In the second tab status bar custom setting we get the special features like the ancient logo in the status bar. We get the lots of OLT and the Wi-Fi icons. Here one of the unique feature like the battery layout. I have seen this feature first time in the custom ROM. 
bunch of the battery styles are available another one is the custom charging icon this one is also special and has the lots of icons like the nokia logo osus logo etc so the second is the themes as the rom has the stock android 12 full monet theming but still this feature is special here we can add our own custom monet theme color instead of wallpaper based color we also get the white luminance and the chroma factor with the linear brightness which takes the device look to the whole new another level in the quick setting tile we get the option to add the running services power menu tab has the lots of tabs to add in the power menu section gesture setting has double tap to wake and three finger gestures they are working all fine in the lock screen setting we get the music visualizer which makes your device look cool and device stands out of the crowd in the animation tab we get the quick setting panel animation like flip to rotate that we seen in the old custom roms but on the android 12 it makes the beautiful visualization battery saver has the different profiles in the rom like the light moderate high and extreme so let's check the exclusive custom features of ancient os in this tab we get the ancient us switch which changes the overall look of the device like the changing the position of the clock in the status bar changing the style of quick setting tiles which is amazing i never seen such things previously in the advanced status bar feature we get the whole new customization of status bar like changing the position of icons background of status bar some custom status bar styles are just out of the mind i never seen that before instead of this custom feature we get the always on ambient display in the lock screen setting dark mode under the display setting separate performance profile for the device like balance power save and the performance another game mode setting available but it's not that much like the dot os and all other custom roms but it boosts the touch sampling rate and boosts the performance when activated dedicated tab for 60 and 90 hertz is available Now we will see the performance of the ROM. ROM is super smooth. Touch response are also very good. Apps opening, games performance is but is smooth. We can also use the game mode to improve the gaming performance. So after checking the Geekbench, definitely score has been improved, but it's still lower than the Oxygen OS. Touch feedbacks are improved a lot, but still it's not better than the Oxygen OS. Device take cool solvents. But while using the heavy task and the charging it gets little bit warmer but not few at all. So the main question comes battery. So the cleverly say a little bit disappointed here after complete two days battery cycle in the first cycle I got the 16 hour of overall battery backup with the 4 hour of SOT. I use a YouTube, WhatsApp and Telegram only very less audio calls but within the users I rebooted two three times because of testing the ROM. But in the second cycle I got the 22 hours of overall standby time. with the 5 and 1/2 hour of sot actually in build battery stats are buggy here because of android 12 shows the whole standby time as a sot so i used the better battery stat to check and i got this error so as per the stat battery is not impressive still we need the 2 3 days time to settle down the custom rom so what is the final verdict rom is completely stable that alert slider will be get fixed soon only concern is a battery backup so the people still curious to test the rom go ahead and test the rom please take the android before flashing and the people who cares the battery backup please wait for the next update so that's it for today guys if you think i help you please do like and share this video subscribe our channel press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content thanks for watching see you next time bye bye